Imagine this. You're browsing the web, maybe catching up on news or checking emails, just going about your usual online routine. Suddenly, a menacing pop-up appears on your screen, disrupting your peaceful browsing. It flashes a string of numbers, claiming to be your IP address, making it look very official and alarming. The message threatens dire consequences if you don't comply with its demands, creating a sense of urgency and fear. This scenario might seem like something straight out of a thriller movie with all the suspense and drama. However, it's a tactic increasingly employed by scammers to intimidate and manipulate unsuspecting internet users, exploiting their lack of technical knowledge. But how much truth lies behind such threats? Are they as dangerous as they seem? Can someone actually hack you just by knowing your IP address? Is it really that simple? The answer, like most things in cybersecurity, isn't a simple yes or no. It's a bit more complicated. It's more nuanced than that, involving various factors and technical details. Understanding the capabilities and limitations associated with IP addresses is crucial to navigating the digital world safely and confidently without falling prey to scare tactics. Let's delve into the world of IP addresses, explore the potential risks, and debunk some common myths surrounding them so you can be better informed. By the end, you'll have a clearer picture of what an IP address can and cannot reveal about you, dispelling any misconceptions. More importantly, you'll learn how to protect yourself from those who might misuse this information, ensuring your online safety and peace of mind. In essence, an IP address is your device's unique identifier on the internet. Just like your home address tells the postal service where to deliver your mail, your IP address tells websites and other devices where to send data. Think of it as your digital address. There are two main types of IP addresses, public and private. Your public IP address is your online identity, assigned by your internet service provider, ISP. This address is what websites and online services see when you connect. Your private IP address, on the other hand, is used within your local network. This could be your home or office network. It allows devices within the same network to communicate with each other. Knowing the difference between these two types of IPs is important when discussing security risks. While your public IP address is more exposed, it doesn't directly lead hackers to your doorstep. Now, let's address the elephant in the room the potential risks associated with someone knowing your IP address. This is a topic that often raises eyebrows and concerns, and for good reason. While not a direct gateway to your device, your IP address can be used for malicious purposes. It's like having your home address. It doesn't give direct access, but it provides a starting point. One such risk is a distributed denial of service DDS attack. This is a common method used by hackers to disrupt services. In a DDoS attack, Hackers flood your network with traffic, overwhelming your connection and causing service disruption. This can be particularly damaging for businesses and online services. Imagine a horde of people trying to squeeze through a single doorway simultaneously. The chaos and congestion are similar to what happens during a DDoS attack. That's essentially what a DDoS attack does to your internet connection. It slows everything down to a crawl, making it nearly impossible to use. Another concern is location tracking. This is where things can get a bit more personal. Using your IP address, someone can get a general idea of your geographical location. This isn't precise, but can still be concerning. This is how websites often display location-based content, like news or weather updates. It's convenient, but also a reminder of how much information is out there. However, it's not pinpoint accurate and usually only reveals your city or region. So, while it's not exact, it still narrows down your location. Finally, hackers can use your IP address for port scanning. This is a more technical threat, but equally important to understand. This technique involves probing your device for open ports, which are like digital doorways for data to enter and leave. Open ports can be potential entry points for hackers. By identifying open ports, hackers can potentially find vulnerabilities to exploit. This is why securing your network and devices is crucial in today's digital age. Despite the potential risks, it's crucial to debunk a common myth. 
Simply knowing your IP address is not enough to hack someone. It's like knowing someone's street address. You can send them a postcard, but you can't break into their house with that information alone. Real hacking requires more sophisticated techniques and usually involves exploiting vulnerabilities in software, weak passwords, or social engineering tactics. Your IP address is just one piece of the puzzle, and often not the most critical one. Section 5. Beyond the IP. The real targets for hackers. Hackers are more interested in exploiting common weaknesses that are far more prevalent and easier to compromise than trying to penetrate a system solely through its IP address. Think of it as going for the low-hanging fruit. One such weakness is weak passwords. Using easily guessable passwords or reusing the same password across different platforms is like leaving your front door unlocked, an open invitation for trouble. Another common target is outdated software. Outdated software often contains known security flaws that hackers can exploit. Regularly updating your operating systems, apps, and antivirus software is crucial to patching these vulnerabilities. Social engineering is another favorite tactic among cybercriminals. This involves manipulating individuals into revealing sensitive information like passwords or credit card details through phishing emails, fake websites, or other deceptive means. Section 6. Shielding your digital footprint. Practical tips for IP protection. While your IP address alone might not be enough to compromise your security, it's still important to take steps to protect yourself. Your IP address can reveal your general location and be used to track your online activities. Here are some practical tips to help you safeguard your digital identity and maintain your privacy online. One of the most effective ways to mask your IP address is by using a virtual private network, or VPN. A VPN not only hides your IP address, but also encrypts your data, adding an extra layer of security. A VPN encrypts your internet traffic and routes it through a server in a different location, effectively hiding your real IP address. This makes it much harder for anyone to track your online activities. Think of it as sending your mail through a trusted intermediary who forwards it with a different return address. This way, your original address remains hidden. Securing your home router is another crucial step in protecting your digital footprint. This involves changing the default router password to something more secure and unique, enabling network encryption, WPA2 or WPA3, to ensure that your data is transmitted securely over your network, and keeping the router's firmware updated to protect against vulnerabilities and exploits. It's like reinforcing the walls and windows of your digital home to deter unwanted visitors. Regular updates and strong passwords make it harder for intruders to gain access. Enabling your device's firewall is akin to having a security guard at your digital door, monitoring incoming and outgoing traffic. A firewall acts as a barrier between your device and the internet, blocking unauthorized access attempts and keeping your data safe from prying eyes. Section 7. The Cybersecurity Marathon – Staying Ahead of the Threats Cybersecurity isn't a one-time task, it's an ongoing process. New threats emerge constantly, and staying ahead of the curve is crucial for maintaining your online safety. Regularly update your software. Software updates often include security patches that fix known vulnerabilities. Enable automatic updates whenever possible to ensure you're always running the latest, most secure versions. Use strong, unique passwords. Create strong passwords that are at least 12 characters long and include a mix of upper and lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols. Consider using a password manager to generate and store your passwords securely. Be cautious about what you click. Phishing emails and malicious links are common ways for hackers to steal your information. Think twice before clicking on links or opening attachments from unknown senders. Section 8. Knowledge is power. Staying informed for a safer online experience. In the ever-evolving landscape of cybersecurity, Knowledge is your most powerful tool. Staying informed about the latest threats, trends, and best practices empowers you to make informed decisions and protect yourself effectively. Subscribe to reputable cybersecurity blogs and newsletters. 
Websites and organizations dedicated to cybersecurity often provide valuable insights, news, and tips for staying safe online. Follow cybersecurity experts on social media. Many cybersecurity professionals share their knowledge and insights on social media platforms. Following them can provide you with real-time updates and practical advice. Participate in online cybersecurity forums and communities. Engaging with other internet users and experts in online forums can provide valuable perspectives and insights into the latest threats and protection methods. Section 9. Staying Safe in the Digital Age Navigating the digital world safely requires awareness, vigilance, and a proactive approach to cybersecurity. While your IP address might not be the ultimate key to your digital life, it's essential to understand the risks associated with it and take steps to protect yourself. Remember, cybersecurity is a shared responsibility. By staying informed, adopting safe online habits, and spreading awareness, we can create a safer and more secure online experience for everyone.